Hey, welcome back, folks. Uh, we're doing some thinking uh, today on the uh, Area Pro 2. Uh, you can see that I have my graphic template. Um, I've uh, scuff sanded the top here because this is where the graphic portion of it's going to go. Uh, if we have to enlarge it, um, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh, graphic part here. Uh, there's some writing uh, that I'm going to, some Japanese writing uh, that uh, I'm going to put up here. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, but that's kind of why we're here, isn't it? Um, so, this is, there's two parts to this, this graphic. This is a, uh, a Sakura blossom or a cherry blossom, which is uh, um, very prevalent in Japanese society. Um, and it's kind of a reminder of just the, the transient nature uh, of life. Um, Sakura blossoms, cherry blossoms, when they happen, you don't have very much time to go see them. Um, in downtown Tokyo, when the cherry blossoms are out, yeah, you're not at work. Uh, you're in the park. Um, and most of the time, uh, in many instances, uh, that will happen as a company. Um, you will spread a tarp out in places like Wayno Park um, with your company name on it and your company will go down and you will enjoy um, the springtime cherry blossoms um, and within 72 hours they're gone. Uh, it's, it's really a, a very fast um, type of a thing and with the Japanese people um, where they live, the things that they have endured just because of the, the earthquakes and the tsunami, uh, that really was part of why um, I wanted to put this graphic on here. I kind of rescued this guitar um, out of a Japanese secondhand shop um, and wanted to kind of pay tribute to the spirit of uh, the Japanese people uh, with this. So that's kind of why we're doing this. And the saying, as you see, we'll get to that later, kind of kind of flows along with that. But uh, here are the considerations that um, we're kind of looking at um, on this guitar. Um, it's got a lot of holes, and I'm kind of a nitpicker. So if I was lazy, I would kind of put this right here. And you would only have eh, about that much of the blossom showing. I wouldn't have to worry about painting into the cavity of the uh, the Floyd Rose. Um, uh, yeah, that's my neighbor. Uh, so that's one way that I could do it, but I don't get very much of that graphic actually showing up. Whereas if I rotate it a little bit and I kind of put this here, I do get 60, 70, 80 percent of this flower blossom uh, on the top here. Um, I do run it into this cavity and the downside about that is um, because of the way I am I'm gonna have to continue this design down into this pocket now, this part will be covered up by a pad of some sorts, more than likely. Um, but even if it isn't, there's going to be a big mass of metal here covering this up. And um, most people are never going to notice it. But I'm going to know that it's there. Um, and that's the way I do things. The other part of this that is somewhat problematic is from this center point I there's a circle in this design um, that's just not cut out um, that goes will come around like this um, to make a circular outline on there now that 
is going to be a pain because it's going to go down into this pickup cavity, come out of this pickup cavity, back through here, and down around. Now I could leave that out, um, but I'm not going to, because um, this is a learning experience, um, and that's the easy way out, and uh, I'm a big fan of doing hard things. Um, so that's another bridge we're going to have to come across. So there's some work on the computer that I'm thinking I might do here and reprint this out to give me a more easily findable center point. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, is I'm, we're going to apply frisket uh, film over the guitar here so that we can make a mask. Um, and if I have a center point on here, once I've applied the frisket, then I can just take a compass and I can make the circle. And the circle outline will then be centered around this uh, circle. All right, uh, I'll so be honest with you. Uh, I don't have any idea what's computer. going on with that and, fader uh, thing. Uh, the spirit of Murphy is alive and well and living in California. Where did the Sakura design come from? Uh, the actual graphic part, um, the first time I saw it was on the tail of an F-15 flown by the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force, the 305th Tactical Fighter Squadron out of Hyakuri uh, Air Base up by uh, Ibaraki. Uh, I also saw it on their T-4 training aircraft. Uh, this was the image that I actually pulled uh, the graphic from. I had a buddy of mine extract the uh, design out of it. When I tried to put it in a circle it looked a little bit off, which I thought was odd because uh, my buddy is uh, as meticulous as uh, I am. Uh, so I went ahead and I pulled uh, that design off of the tail. Uh, I was then able to put it in a 5000 by 5000 pixel 300 dpi uh, image. Uh, was able to enlarge it up because I just want the shape out of it. And I don't know if it was the angle that I was at, if it was the curvature, a little bit of curvature on the tail. Uh, I don't know what is going on, but this uh, design is not symmetrical on the inside. Uh, when, I was, when I took the petals out and stuck it in the center of my uh, image, you can see the little blue lines don't cross in the center. Yet that design is centered in the middle uh, of that uh, of that image. Uh, knowing that it was a little off, okay, now it kind of makes sense, um, and now I can adjust for that. I've made my center point, so when we print this out and we're able to put it on the uh, the body of the guitar, I won't be driven totally bat poop crazy. Um, if the inner circles are a little bit off. I can adjust that uh, for the overlap uh, that it's going to take over on the guitar. So knowing all of that, uh, it's going to make things a little bit easier. So, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk just a little bit about this Area Pro 2 because um, Murphy has uh, reared his ugly head. Uh, this tape which I had purchased back in Japan, uh, I had asked the uh, person at the Arts and Crafts Center told them that I needed some tape uh, that I could use to mask off areas uh, for uh, airbrushing, for making a uh, just like a mask type of thing. Oh yes, 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 we have just the thing for you. Um, so I bought a couple rolls of it and I had previously put it on to uh, the guitar to mask off my border area, how far this graphic was going to kind of creep over the edge of it. And uh, I got to thinking and I thought uh, that I was going to move that border back a little further, back towards the back edge, make it more wrap around that area. And uh, when I went to look at it and I peeled it off, it's not tape that you use, like pinstriping tape. This is double stick tape. Which is sticking doubly very well, I might add. So now I have this hot mess on my clear coat that I'm going to have to remove. Um, 
So, uh, I see a future of me and a rag and some naphtha uh, to pull this off of here. So, uh, we'll be delayed just a little bit in uh, getting this uh, Sakura Blossom on here, uh, which I just previously covered. We talked a little bit about... Um, uh, I showed you the still photos of this. Oh, great, now it's stuck to the... Paper. Holy shit, Taki mushrooms. All right, um, maybe having a beer before lunch today. Hey, here we are, back again, trying to get this hot mess of stuff off of here. And uh, this is officially a pain. If it were a type of bread, it would be pita bread. If you catch my drift. Wow, just trying to peel this off of here is uh, all kinds of stupid. Wow. Fail boat afloat. Just for fun. Let's take a look here. See, isn't that nice? Now it doesn't really want to come up. Because, of course, since it's double stick tape. Ooh, look at that. Holy cow. Oh, man. That must have been uh, like four inches there. Okay, I am not going to record this whole thing. On the off chance that I say something unsavory. Which I hope will not be the case case it is. I want to keep this